Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the GB Podcast here with your homies from Getting Belligerent. Hey, yo, what it I is, am, folks? I am Edgar. Below me, that is Slunk drinking a beer. What you drinking, Slunk? I'm drinking a lunar kitten. Yay. Lunar kitten. And next to him in the in the hat with the star shirt, that is Percival. Say hi, Percival. Excellent. And you are hi, muted. Percival. While that's happening, say we'll hi. say... Didn't say hi. I'll say hi for him. Hello, I'm Percival. I'm angry. I'm frustrated because my mic's not working. But I'm going to let <laughs> handsome and talented Dwayne talk for me because I love him. And he's really good at fantasy football. And that's Dwayne up there. That's what Percy said. Yeah, I'm he's, Dwayne. Well, he's... <laughs> and while that's getting fixed and getting uh, organized... I want to say thank you so much to Nyao Live for waiting with the party of seven. That's awesome. Thank you very much. That's let's feel that right here. Feather right there, right there. Just deep within that that chest. It's <laughs> right there, right there. Let's feel it. <laughs> thank yeah, you so much man. for that raid. Appreciate it. We were like all we were like all getting ready, just getting things up, and then Edgar's like, "Hey, we got it raided <laughs> on our loading <laughs> screen. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go let's get. We're going. We're going. No more. We're going. We're going. We gotta go. We gotta go. Like we're getting what? <laughs> yeah. You guys hear me now? Hey, yeah, and that's Percival. <laughs> I would have never said any of that, Dwayne. You liar. But it's all true. <laughs> they're all, they're all facts. Uh... The love, the handsomeness, the fantasy football. That's. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, maybe the fancy football, dealing, but that's about it. What? <laughs> Damn. Then he's just dealing with so many problems right now. He's just making all this cap room in his in his Madden league. <laughs> uh, Explain what mess. that is, Dwayne. That's the mess. Madden franchise. If you've ever played, you have to manage your cap. You're like a real GM, and I'm bad at that. I'm not bad at managing money, but I'm bad at managing contracts apparently because I have no more money. <laughs> you, you, wait, you need money to run a team? That's what? It's crazy, right? What? Football's a business. Nothing. Since when? Like, just raise right, up the yeah. prices for beer and for chips and for all that stuff, and then, you know, you'll be good. Uh-huh. Raise taxes. That's about, that's not, no, that's the salary. You got to work within the salary cap. There's like a block of money oh. I can use oh. and it oh. distribute it evenly. Strong. I can, I can raise funds okay. for the team. I can relocate Kansas City. Where do you guys want to go? Um, Dude, the people of Kansas City are mad right now. We were just talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> they are just mad. They're just letting go of all these star players. I, and you have your guys, team. And it, I don't even think that helps. <laughs> the guys are like laughing at me. They're like, what is this guy doing cutting his best players? I got no money. Do you yeah, guys ESPN, ESPN Kansas City are just furious. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the new ownership. He's a little cheap. That's what I'm describing. <laughs> Uh, uh yeah it's funny how, how it's it's actually interesting how some people do take over franchises and then like just think about it so economically right like uh uh like what they're doing with the marlins and and mm-hmm. it's like wait this is like you guys aren't you guys are just making economical moves this is weird like it's a sport <laughs> yeah are you trying to win like that's... no no we don't no. We, just trying to stay under the cap we don't want your tax yeah we're trying, just to make trying to avoid tax <laughs> it's, so it's like weird. it's like the people who go to like the like poker tournaments and like they don't have the money to really be in a poker tournament it's like all right i'm gonna play but i'm gonna play when i like i have a good hand though like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be right <laughs> i'll wait all night i don't give a fuck <laughs> bold 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 <laughs> I just want to play a little bit. I don't want to play like the whole time. <laughs> How are you guys with uh, the with, uh, with, uh, with poker? Are you guys good at it, or is it like slow ass game? And so you slowly lose, and then and then you then you and you walk away. <laughs> I'm not a big not... poker player. Here's the way. This is how I play, and it always fails me because. I start off doing fine, conservative, but then I'm drinking, and I'm drinking, <laughs> and slowly progress. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna start going in, and then I start winning, and then I get a little bit too drunk, and I'm like, I'll call your bluff, and it wasn't a yeah, and then I lose. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I've done that like once. <laughs> I did it once where I felt like a badass, and I was <laughs> so think about. I still think about it. <laughs> Just smile. Yeah. Or... 
for uh for me it's all right uh, this is this is pretty cool i know what i'm doing all right i understand this hand all right this is uh, we're going around once everyone all right we're cool you're in you're not in you're not okay cool put my hand okay we gotta do that again <laughs> all in all in let's just go again i can't i can't wait the whole time <laughs> They're like in, in a group of friends wise like little like tournament i've only done that once and i was like i i'm not that's this isn't for me I, yeah <laughs> and then we gotta I, wait to the end how do, you, yeah. how, do you, how do you feel about that aspect of the gambling with friends it's weird it's weird it's weird for you yeah it's fine i did it more when i was younger i won't do it now because it's weird i agree it's weird it's a little i don't know like what yeah, <laughs> because you. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking I'm your competitive. Like you see how I am with fantasy football. Like I get it. about that shit. <laughs> so like know, monopoly money, like family issues, like that kind of level. Nah, no. Nah. Well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. See, I, <laughs> I, I guess for me, uh, I don't mind gambling with friends because, like, some mentioned, like I gamble with family, like. We have a, a what is it, loteria, which is just like Mexican bingo, but you play for money. And then there's that that top game where it's called Pirinola, but it's like a top and you spin it and you either it either lands on put in the put in the put in one, take one, take everything, yeah. or you lose everything. Like so, we gamble all the time. So gambling with friends is like it's. I, but I see I, those. I see those two as more like games of chance. Poker, you're trying to fuck each other over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I can lie better than you. And I'm gonna get your money because of and it. I'm so <laughs> yeah. Poker becomes personal at some point. Mm. Hey, card games in general. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Percy. Why I do you keep using draw two, very... draw two on me? Draw two on me. Oh, Uno? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Play Uno. For Uno. Money. Uno's like like no. I never played Uno for money. It's it's not about never. money. It's not about money. It's about domination. It's about <laughs> fucking people over. Yeah, I'm, right, I'm with you, Slug. It's just like, like what it's combo? Like how am I? How am I just gonna embarrass you right now, man? It's better than money. How do I give you seventy five cards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially when somebody's like really close to winning, and then you just you just you know take the rug out from under them. Uh, uh, and it's like they become that meme, draw 25 or what, do something, you know? <laughs> it's just the best. And then when it's one-on-one -on -one and you're just comboing them, oh, God, uh, it feels so good. It's like, it's just, it's like arcade games. It's just like comboing the, the shit corner, out of your buddy. Like, plus two, plus two, them, plus two. Juggle, 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 juggle. juggle. Yeah. What? All of a sudden you're like, yeah, that's an infinite combo. You didn't know I could do that, did you? <laughs> and then you don't have a friend. You just lost a friend, just like that. Yeah. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Uh, yeah, play Uno again. Yeah, it's like competition, man. That's what's going on in this Madden League. Uh, I got invited by my uncle, and it's a bunch of mm -hmm. his friends. So I don't know any of these guys, so I can oh, whatever. So you can destroy him. No, I like <laughs> listen. It was a setup. Let me say it's a setup. entrapment. It was entrapment. You know, the holidays, we were talking with each other, and Michael's like, "Hey, you, you you got the new Madden?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm getting it." So he's like, "Oh, you should join this league. We're gonna we're thinking about inviting somebody." If you want to join i'm like sure i'm down i don't have a lot to do you know so i finally get in the league and we're all in the same division and i find out that they didn't start a new league they just added me to one meanwhile they've been playing for like six seasons worth of football <laughs> just beating the shit out of my team in the ai and building their teams up they all got super teams right now and i got this i got this basically expansion draft kind of team it's been it's been challenging but I can't wait till my team gets good. I'm going to fucking talk so much shit. <laughs> just biding your time. You're just waiting. They've been, they been kicking my ass, too. I got one win against a user, against a real person, in two years, two seasons. So, but, but that win, though? That win? Yeah. Oh, I just knocked off an undefeated team in the playoffs. That was my first win. My uncle's very upset. He hasn't talked to me since. That's what I remember. Um, full circle. And and that the people that are in that league are do they also talk shit? They talk shit or yeah, they talk shit. They run up the score, they do all they they are those guys. Oh yeah. thank you, Colocha, for that tier one sub. We do appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you so much. 
I mean, the, the we horns a, up. We yeah. have a group chat. Mm-hmm. They're sending gifts. The guy just won his fourth championship, and he's just saying Charger gifts all day. And I'm like, okay, yeah, <laughs> we all know the Chargers wouldn't win four championships ever. <laughs> Sorry, they haven't won the one, so I, I understand they're not good. They're good on here. Hey, this guy, <laughs> you be his number one fan. <laughs> start watching his games. Yay! <laughs> we win one way. So, but yeah, it's been fun. Uh, I like challenges. I thought I, was I like challenges. I thought I was better at Madden. No. <laughs> Not so much. You're like, but I'm the guy. I'm the sports guy. I'm, sports I'm gonna guy. be good at this. Yeah. I know how to sports. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just use my sports uh, uh, guyness. Um. Yeah, so how are you guys doing? Everybody's having a, a good beginning to 2021. It's exactly the same, isn't it? Isn't it? it has, nothing's changed. It's not Everything's changed. Everything's different. Everything's the same. Worse. Mindset. Just, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just <laughs> I'm just rewriting the date twice because I messed up the first time. That's all. That's all. The only difference is I'm writing 2020 and going ah fuck, and then writing 2021. Yeah. I I have done that once already. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I haven't written the date. I'll admit to that. <laughs> it's so long. I don't write anything. I haven't um, seen you guys in like the flesh in months, and that's weird. And that's true. really odd. Mm. That's really odd to me. That like, I see people. Like I see humans. Yeah. Uh, but they are not the humans there. you know. <laughs> They're not like robots. They're not these androids walking around the streets. I see them. But none of them are my friends. <laughs> so um, it kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, but I did have one big change this year so far, and that is I moved. I am in a new streamer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I flipped the world. I'm, I'm facing the other way. <laughs> no, yeah. You've moved. I, well, congrats. Nice. Thank you, Carla world... and I got a place. Woo! The world yeah. has changed. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a big, big move. Boys are growing up. Dog up. What's that Drake album called? Dude. Nothing looks the same. The most, the, adult, same the most adult thing you ever do in your life is buy a refrigerator. I mean, once... They're expensive. Once you buy a refrigerator, you're an adult. That's it. Not a house, not a car. <laughs> A refrigerator. Yeah, uh, uh, appliances and I think furniture is like big, big step up things. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's like you become a man. It's, not, yeah. it's no longer like the savage world where you get sent onto the forest. You have to come back with like, you know, a, a, a bear. bear. A bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. You're you're hunting and, and foraging for a microwave, and then. <laughs> You have to go and like, all right, I got to go check out Best Buy. I got to go check out Target. Yeah. Maybe Costco has something. You know what? I don't need the super expensive one, but let me go check it out anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you, can just, you can knock on it and it'll turn on. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a fridge there's, that does that? Yep. Then there's fridges what that have it, uh, it turns so you on. Knock, so you have a, it's like a, 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 it's a black window and you knock on it and then it turns on so you can see the inside without opening the fridge. And then there's another fridge where basically... You open instead of opening the whole door, you open the section where like there'll be sodas and cans in it, and then there's other fridges that actually connect to you like your ring doorbell. So when someone's in front, it'll show you on your fridge who it is, and it's all extra stuff on for for a fridge that you're gonna be there for what like two seconds. Who's in the fridge that often? You need to see your ring doorbell. It's a lot. <laughs> and then like three to four thousand dollars, I think. Depends how big your house is. Cool I'm looking at that at that fridge you were talking about, about the knock with, and it's like a window thing. Yeah, that I appreciate. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, like that's pretty nice. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good one. The ring one, the ring thing, I don't really understand. <laughs> oh, I think there's other ones that have a camera that connects to your phone. So, like, say you go to the market. Fuck, what do I need? Oh, let me just check my phone and be like, oh, it looks like I'm missing eggs. Let's see. <laughs> it does x-ray vision. 
<laughs> so look, these are the little things. These are these are uh, uh, quality of life improvements in a game. You know, sometimes you, there's uh, the little stat that you just want to see and you can't get to it. Just like fucking four or five different clicks. Someone made this for one click, and you're like, all right. Yeah, I, I, that's the quest. That's the quest I gotta go do. I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> it's, it's quality of life. It's, <laughs> it's like it's, it's like it's old school. Yes, yeah. what's the whole part in there? These fridges have little egg holders, so you put the egg there. So when you look oh. at it, oh, I'm missing eggs instead of yeah. hurting. <laughs> so it's like an inventory you could bring up on a HUD in front of you. Just like, like, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like when you know. <laughs> And then I mean, you fill up. It's like you've you've encumbered. You can't move. You have to, <laughs> to eat some food. Uh, too many eggs. Too many <laughs> eggs. <laughs> I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> you eat them. Just like eating your raw eggs. I know I have full health, but I'm still gonna eat them. <laughs> God. I'm not gonna drop these here. <laughs> I don't use them. Um, yeah. Talk about a fucking. I'm, so I, I finished Cyberpunk. I'll give you my quick review. But talk about a talk about a waste of of inventory stuff, like picking up consumables and and health items and shit like that. Like you don't need any of that shit. Like you could pick up like food and alcohol and all these things, mm. and a a, a, mel- a health pack is like good enough. <laughs> It just, it just, what a, they try what a to waste. It, uh, they try to make it. Oh, Dwayne sideways there. They we lost Dwayne. It, <laughs> they didn't lose him. He's just, just, just flipping around. <laughs> he's, he's in right. inception. Sorry. <laughs> um, you too can, pro- can produce a professional podcast from a phone. Um, <laughs> Anything's possible. Uh, I still think the best, the best inventory in any game is definitely the Skyrim system. I mean, the fact that you can walk around and like read a book <laughs> as part of your game uh, is pretty incredible. I don't know. Look, I found a YouTube channel that reads all the books from Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> do they do like voices and stuff? I don't know if they do voices. I just, I just saw like the the thing on there, and like it was like the. The, the the bar maiden's tail or something like that. It's one of like the the ones that they, that always shows up. It's supposed to be like the porn of the of Skyrim. Oh, <laughs> it, like it uh... reads all the it reads all the what? So in Skyrim, there's a, a everything you could pick up, right? Mm. There's a shit ton of books like everywhere. Oh, all the books. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of books. So like lore and stuff. Lore, made up stories. Oh yeah. Uh, Encyclopedias, sure. just oh, random shit. Entire <laughs> books that somebody wrote yeah. and then put in an item in the game, <laughs> and then you can just pick it up and read a story. Yeah, and it's not like a couple of pages, aren't they? Pretty long. Uh, I've never I mean, looked into it. No, 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 no you got like, me looking into it. Yeah. Like, eh, still yeah. too, <laughs> too busy kiting fucking dragons and shit. That's <laughs> above my level. Um. That's what the Witcher is. Witcher has a bunch of freaking lore in there too. I mean, oh, that's bad. Destiny. Cool. Destiny has Destiny has like a whole lore world. It's it's crazy. Destiny has terrible lore, <laughs> but it's got stacks of it, tons of it. <laughs> it may not be good, but it's there. So uh, I can't. Re- <laughs> for for Destiny, how do how do you get your lore? Like, what what is it? Um. Everything you do brings lore, accomplishments, picking up, getting weapons, doing missions. Oh, so it's on, on different things. Sh- all sorts of shit. Everything has okay. lore. It's ridiculous. That it's sounds fun. actually more, way more interesting. It's a how fuck ton. <laughs> Percy, how do you get your your lore in uh in Witcher? Uh, same thing. You get you're picking up books around. Like you go into castles and then like they're in like the bookshelves and you just oh let me read this and this and this and and then so. <laughs> All, all the lore in Skyrim, all of it. <laughs> it's these little chips everywhere that chips. are chip. Yes, like that, like, like computer chips. chips, computer what? chip. What? Like, like a little like USB. 
and like, you you put it inside and you you fucking read it as a message. Skyrim? Skyrim? No, Cyberpunk. Oh. Oh. He oh, oh. <laughs> okay. says Skyrim. So I'm like, okay. wait, what the hell? Blind. You were blowing my mind. I was like, I go back and play Skyrim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, but <laughs> the USB section in Skyrim. <laughs> Please enter. Insert. Yeah, <laughs> insert it to the dragon. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was gonna say just. There's no like books or anything. It's just like a oh, nice little message of conversation between two people. That's that's a lot of what you get. Okay. There's not real lore. There's the game goes through a bunch of lore like, through cutscenes, as in like the technology behind things. Uh, like oh, the, the this chip isn't working because the back wall has been integrated with the the previous uh, DNA of the, like what? what where make point to me where i have to shoot and then we'll <laughs> <laughs> explain this on the way <laughs> so quick review of cyberpunk a uh, lot of things i like a lot of things i hated i hated disliked uh the bugs are everywhere the bugs are hilarious the bugs are terrible <laughs> <laughs> Cause there's there's times you know, like all these games have bugs. All these open world games have bugs. Yeah, every game has bugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's not act like there's a clean game out there. Yeah, like you're gonna show me fucking Mario and that that shit has like a litter with bugs too. Uh, so it's with Cyberpunk is just the the story is good. <laughs> but, but but it but it but it it it. it, it Makes you take leaps and bounds of things as uh, Jelly Hubie is reading with the party of three. Look at that. Thank hey, you, Jelly hey, Hubie. Hey, thank you. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you so much for that, Jelly. <laughs> Just talking about talking about Cyberpunk. Talking about how I really like the music because I saw Slunk like, like Dancing. <laughs> 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 the, the driving yep. is terrible unless you got a specific car. <laughs> uh, there's no like random interactions with people as in everything's like okay here here is your quest go go to your quest here's your quest go to your quest here's your quest go to your it's not like oh, random get, interaction hit up a bar yeah. and you just have a conversation and have it lead to somewhere yeah oh. yeah there's, there's not enough of that i wanted more i wanted more i want to be immersed in, like, more in, the, in the world fluidity to your yeah. gaming you want you want to be able to freestyle <laughs> your your sessions i like that I mean, I don't like that I didn't have that, but I like that you like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jelly's right there saying, "I got it on PS4 and it's buggy as fuck." See? <laughs> <laughs> no way, man! It's awful. It's so bad that they had to offer those those refunds outright. Dude, there's like, so much even, shit happening. We're not even gonna try to PR this shit. Like, just here's your fucking money. Well, you know what? Honestly, it's, it's fucking Christmas and New Year's. I don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> like, yeah. just return it. Just return it. All right. <laughs> So did, did you hear how it went down? How all, all, all that shit happened? Uh, so, uh-huh. so uh, the, the guys that made Witcher, uh, Red Project, whatever their name is, CG Red. There we go. Mm-hmm. They they're the ones that came out with a statement and saying, "All right, we get it, guys. We understand. Uh, you guys, there's a lot of complaints. Uh, you guys can get refunds straight from uh, Microsoft and Sony." And <laughs> all right, peace out, guys. Deuce. Peace. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and microphone and Tony are like, uh, <laughs> you guys didn't communicate with us at all. So Sony said, yeah, no problem. You guys get your refunds. Uh, you played it less than I think sixty hours or something like that. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You generous. Get a re- Yeah, but get a, get a refund. No problem. By the way, we're also removing the game from our store. <laughs> All right, cool. Peace out, guys. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know if Microsoft did that too. I don't know if they removed it. I don't think they did. Uh, they were holding out. I don't think they ended up taking it off. God. So, yeah. Video game I, drama. <laughs> companies drama, dude. Companies <laughs> always have fucking drama. It's it's crazy how how a lot of these like smaller developers tend to have like some pretty pretty crazy drama and i don't know if there's been anything recently i know riot games was having a lot of drama for a while there was the uh, fortnite and apple they're having some oh, drama yeah that's right, right. that's oh, still right. going i think fortnite apple caved in or i caved in pussies <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Fortnite, Apple. Yeah, that Fortnite wanted more money, so they they undercut the the Apple Store. Damn. And said you could just download it straight off our site instead of going to the Apple Store. Duh. I think that's what it was. That's what it sounds like. That sounds about right. Oh, so the new update suggests Fortnite could return to iOS. So yeah, I, I think yeah. they were just uh, removed it from the <laughs> store too. It may have been negotiation yeah. tactics. Is all we witnessed. Some new deal I mean, down there. Like you know, what? it's cool. Like, the, the, um, so game game development companies are like these gigantic like anything, right? They're like gigantic now, right? Yeah. And games that come out have multiple motivations behind them. And that gets implemented into like their design and distribution. And you know, you could argue that that's the profit, the the profit like mode behind that is bad for games mm -hmm. or does gaming companies have a lot of money make games better what do you Wait, think say it again say it again I mean, so, I'll do. <laughs> so the so companies are trying to maximize their profit as much as possible including doing stuff like you know making things not available on certain platforms and loot and boxes that loot boxes experiences so the so in a sense you could say that that's negatively impacting users at the end right because yeah. the, the users have the negative impact in terms of experience um but their idea is that they if they make more money they'll make better games is that the do you think you think these this sort of approach this capitalistic approach oh like, you know what no. i mean is that no, is that just I think it's absolute greed. No, no. my personal <laughs> yeah. opinion, uh, without naming stuff, I think it's just greed, and there's a disconnect between people passionate about making a game and people. <laughs> as who a PlayStation see it as... controller comes up, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to call anybody. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean a single a single company out. What you talking about? No, I would never know. <laughs> Sony's great. Let me not let me not mince words. I'm just saying I have a lot of experience in the industry, and in certain places I've been, I've noticed that there's like a disconnect between corporate and you know development. Yep. Yeah. And you know, both sides want something, so they kind of meet in the middle. Usually. Corporate gets to say so. Yeah. Kind of gives a little shove, like, hey, get, it out. get usually, it out earlier usually... than earlier than later. And they're like, well, it's not yeah, ready. The... We're like, well, it's ready when we say it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> development usually wants what the customer wants. Yeah. I mean, they, they, the they, usually, no they usually overlap. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the customer's like, how come we're not doing this? It's like, well, you know, we. we it's either there was no money for it, if we tried and we failed, yeah. or corporate said, "Nah, dog, we ain't doing that." <laughs> <laughs> and then we, the, the, they have they all, all have to stay quiet and, and take the blame together as one. And the developers are like, uh, "Yeah, <laughs> what? What's yeah. it? Now? I'm getting mad at us." <laughs> we didn't mean to. We didn't mean John to. from accounting. Um, it sounds like what's happening right now with Apex again. <laughs> really? What's going on with Apex? Oh, hold on, real quick before we talk about Apex in specific. Is there, and I hate to put you guys in the spot, but I'd actually love to put you guys in the spot. <laughs> Is there an experience in sort of like video game development that you guys have seen that you can talk about where the corporate side of things it was like one thing where they, they asked for something and everybody was like, oh my God, like this is an awful idea, but you guys have to work on it anyways. Um, or is it, can you speak in things generically, like as an example without naming specific game that you can remember? Um, for me, like I never had to deal with corporate directly. So it was more of a, as QA, it was more dealing with the developers and from there, like the developer wouldn't tell us like what's going on like on their side. It's yeah, more yeah. of like it's more of like dev QA relationship. Yeah. So it, it, I wouldn't I would I wouldn't use it now unless <laughs> <laughs> you, you can tell from like the tone of their voice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, I can't believe we have to do this. 
yeah. Microtransactions. Did you guys ever get involved with with, with working on that? Microtransactions. Was that not around yet when you guys were still oh, working? I left before that became big. It started. Yeah. yeah. Right around Percy left. Same. I was still at 2K when they first started doing it. And I was like, mm-hmm. and you know the thing is, if you think about it, there's there's two sides of it. Of course, there's the greed, like, oh, they're doing this just to make money. The other aspect of it, at least from the perspective of 2K, my experience was that guys were, <clears throat> we had hackers. We still have them. They still have them, I'm sure. You know, guys know how to hack things. But it was so frequent that they're like we got to put a we got to figure out how to fix how to make our mode fair and get these hackers out of here and they turned a pretty penny doing it so essentially Mm. that's where that's where the microtransaction kind of started at least from my perspective Mm -hmm. is when they were creating that whole the whole my career thing and they were like let's use our own money to build up the character like that's how you get them that's how you earn uh, how can we cheat that's how you (laughs) cheat that's how you earn attributes for your character you you buy them Using our virtual currency. Before you could just, you know, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. You can play your you game however earn you want, it, right? In you game, in game, you know, ways to earn it in game. But it's it's, but now you can buy it, right? Yeah. So there was an That's issue with like hacking. Like people were just were, oh, were cheating games and getting all the skins and all the skin. No, guys were like editing like hacking their players so you play my career you play online like five on five basketball basically you control your own guy you know lots of fun you built this you, you built this guy and there's there's rules based on the position you pick and you know there's like features and abilities you're allowed to access people were like making seven i'll never forget i think it was 2K, <laughs> he's getting flashbacks say 2k 14 2k 15 maybe Guys were making like seven foot six LeBron James looking guys that could dribble up the court doing everything, and they couldn't. They didn't do anything. It was so broken. Like I never seen so many broken animations in my life because the guy's too big and he's doing like through the legs three sixty dunks, and I'm like, so that started happening yeah, a lot. It's, it's Shaq acting like Russell Russell Westbrook yeah. out there. Yeah, that's, yeah, Russell, 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 exactly. That's literally what yeah. wow. Yeah, same speed, just flying through the court. So that started becoming rampant, and then soon after they kind of they came up with the whole virtual currency, like, and that really just put a it, it it stymied the whole hacking of players in that regard. Interesting. Um, yeah, but it also created you know it's a whole it's a monster of it in its own ways. With its own issue, they created free to play games. <laughs> it did it did create a free-to-play game that's true there's a lot there's, you know it depends on how you look at it there's a lot of bad that came from it that comes from it but there was a lot of good things that came from it like all these, all these free games there's a ton of them now and they're allowed to exist and allowed to be developed because of the you know potential of microtransactions and then then it's like you found the gotcha you found the gotcha of yeah, the game it's the, gotcha. <laughs> that's the business that's that's where business meets you know Creativity. Do you, do you, creativity. Do you want to play with one character? Or do you want to play with the seven hundred we've already made? <laughs> yeah, they want to give you yeah. some of the content. It's enough. You can enjoy it. I'm sure you will. But you can really enjoy it. You spend some money on this motherfucker. Like, look at all these other people having so much fun. Yeah, this could and be you. This <laughs> could be you. Yeah. Destiny. Destiny has a thing, or is it Destiny? It was one game that has microtransactions. And they would put you in a match against somebody who has something brand new and shiny, and that person would kick your ass with that brand new and shiny, just so that you'd be like, damn, I need to get brand new and shiny. And so you go spend money <laughs> to get brand new and shiny. I forgot what game it was, though. Uh, I want to say Destiny, but I don't think it's Destiny. But yeah, there was, like a, there was an algorithm in their search engine that did that. Wow. Hey, you want to be popular? You could be popular too. <laughs> yeah, they, would, they would literally put you in the, in the match with somebody who had something like, you know, Strategically above with whatever equipment you had, just for that match, and that guy would huh. kick the shit out of you. Odds are that guy would kick the shit out of you, and you're like, "Fuck, how's that guy kicking the shit out of me?" You look at what he has, and you're like, "Oh shit, he has that. How do I get that?" Damn. Yeah. So the fucking it's it's diabolically it's a business. It's all a business. <laughs> business. Man. It's business. It's all a business. <laughs> well, I I saw firsthand. Um, going on the Riot Games campus, how big a company can get based off of like a single game. I mean, I don't know what else they developed, but there's League of Legends, right? And it was free to play. All uh, you need. 
man, that place was like a fucking theme park. I was just blown away. I had never been to a video game campus before, like I was or any electronic company campus, and I was just like blown away at you walk in and they got like these huge statues and these rooms and like this like crazy ID system to like get your guest pass and and mm-hmm. and buildings are themed and they have like testing places and people are bringing their kids and they have daycare <laughs> and there's like a cafeteria with like international like every food ever and 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 and, it's taco like, Tuesday. Everything, everything <laughs> and like they have a bar and like a restaurant and it's just like what the fuck <laughs> is this is game is free, right? Like this game. Is free. <laughs> Where is all this money you know? coming from? Yeah, it's wild. How much money does LOL make? Yeah, and I mean, it's probably not as popular as it once was, but what? I know, like, League is fucking still one of those global phenomenon one, isn't it? Yeah, With, like and it's fucking huge like, in Korea legit, and shit. Legit tournaments, like legit money purse tournaments <laughs> uh let's see uh, oh shit all right uh, first released in 2009 league of legends is online multiplayer battle arena game which generated revenue of 1.4 billion us dollars in 2018 <laughs> that's league of legends that's not even riot making that money that's <laughs> that's, that's league of legends under the Damn. umbrella of riot <laughs> that's, that's yeah. the Fortnite of epic games you know <laughs> Let's check, let's, check, let's check out Fortnite. What, what, what's Fortnite doing right now? Dude, I want to know what, what what kind of fuck you money they got. Do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, and 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 that, that, that's all software based. I mean, that's people spending money on things that don't exist. They exist, so, Lunk. I see it every day. Real, real. <laughs> it's a very interesting. Makes phenomenon. me feel good. It's like you're mm-hmm. real. All right, you're real. You're in my screen. <laughs> same, <laughs> same concept. <laughs> it's a human condition. We we will pay for experiences. We will barter yeah. our experiences. We have so much uh, in excess that we can do that right now. For some people, 20, like uh, Fortnite, uh, one point eight billion in twenty nineteen. That is all. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Yeah. O- only. It's a game that. <laughs> And nobody's playing it. Yeah. <laughs> dead game. Okay. Dead game. Dead game. That's, That's a dead Fortnite. Game. Yeah. Um, I yeah. wish I like Fortnite as much as the world does. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I liked a lot of things the way the world does. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I can't. I just can't like some things. Um, cool. So that's Edgar's review of Cyberpunk. <laughs> Thank you so much. Six, for that. six out of ten. <laughs> Forgot about that. Six out of ten. That's what I'll give it. Excellent. What was it? What'd you give it? Six out of six out of ten. Not recommended, but it, but I enjoyed it. You wouldn't recommend it. That's huge. Damn. That's that's like unless you I'm get into get the the city, the way it looks, the. The the because the, the shooting's not even that fun, honestly. <laughs> I, I was running around just slicing people because it was faster. Because it was faster. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. How much Skyrim did you play? Skyrim enough like, that I bought you... it th- three times. <laughs> so how about, what, what score would you give Skyrim? What would I give Skyrim? Uh, that's yeah. a that's a good that's a good eight nine right there. That's a <laughs> that's a good game. Yeah. And that's that's with the shits and the bugs, but the bugs are 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 not like everywhere like in Cyberpunk. Uh, that's with super long loading times because the game would save and save and save, and your your shit would just get super long. So I would have like five minute load times. That's with uh, my one of my houses getting fucked up because I couldn't get into it for some reason. There was so many things wrong with that game, yeah, and I just had it. so much fun. I fucking had so much fun with it. You the only game I, mean? I tried to, to to mod on PC <laughs> or to, to get mods on. You know what's an easy way to make a game really good is your mm-hmm. ability to build your own little house and decorate it. Yeah. A hundred percent. You add that into any fucking game, and it's gonna be a hit. It's gonna be a hit. 
How much time did we spend building our houses in Conan, Edgar? I still want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I want to play. I want to play Minecraft. I just want to build shit. <laughs> yeah, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird that like that's the way it is? I I first discovered that in Ultima Online, where I mean it was cool to walk around and like get stuff, but it was all in service of building your own little like French like your own little Italian villa with like a porch and and you would you would protect it and then you would look onto envy of those who had enough to build a castle and and you would build it out like on a swamp somewhere and try to <laughs> protect it from people that were running around and yeah well, that's, that's a little bit of of, of civ I mean, like at the like place where the cities are and make sure they're close to some shit and make sure the roads are, are connecting towards each other yeah yeah but it's not your house like it needs to be a single thing there was a mod for you guys play Sims? Fallout. Yeah, I kind of like Sim. That, that's perfect. That's exactly what that is. But it's in context of like the world, like and if you can make it multiplayer, where your house exists in a world where your friend's other, house, and other yeah, exactly. Like you can you can walk around. I mean, your that, friend's like, neighborhood. <laughs> Slug, have you heard of Animal Crossing? You just beat me to it. Uh, no. That's basically <laughs> it, right? Nope. You have nope. your old island. You take care of the island, you build your shit, you make it pretty, and then you go visit, let's say, Edgar's Island or Slug's like, Island. Or like you get to, you get to you get to visit my my sexy time room where it's nothing but but slunk pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets revealed. <laughs> yeah. Why do you hate that game, Dwayne? Hmm? Why do you hate that game? Personal reasons. Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> it, it ruined his life. It reminds me of someone I'm not talking to. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Uh, I don't go to her island anymore. Yeah, no, completely fine. Completely fine. Yeah, if, I, if, I can, if I can nuke that island, I would. Bad no, no. Nah, nah. She got a nice island. She puts a lot of work into it. Respect, but fuck that game. <laughs> And then there's cheats in that game too, where you can make the time move on your system, so more days pass, and then you collect yeah. whatever bullshit you gotta collect, so can you can go, go and make your your dumb island. <laughs> can you go back in time though? I don't know, back in time or forward in time, but it has time manipulation yeah, on, time on that game. Can too. I go back to the previous event from last year? No. Hey, before you met the island, <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> collect the reward. Twice. I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah. well, that doesn't sound know. like a fun bug at all. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. back, back back to Cyberpunk. I found, uh, uh I saw there was a video for a money glitch. Like, Let me go check out this money glitch. And then that game that glitch I think just broke the game for me. It was like, all right, that's it. Four thousand dollars every minute. That's cool. Whatever. <laughs> Let's get up to two million. I'll watch a. I'll listen to a quick podcast and <laughs> do this bug for a little bit. <laughs> that's probably why the game was not a good game. You didn't have to work for anything. You're rich off the bat. You're like, yeah, oh, you gotta get like all the cars. I've got everything. <laughs> I, I don't give a shit about the guns. I want the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to buy all the cars. Keanu Reeves, <laughs> Reeves is pretty good in it. Yeah, he's a good actor. Yeah. I like Keanu. He's one of my favorite people that's famous. If there's yeah. anyone I would take a bus with, it'd be him. That you would what with? If there's anyone I'd take a bus with, it'd be him. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was like sexual innuendo. <laughs> is that a reference to the game that I'm not going to understand if I don't play it? He had a little in, uh, thing with the bus one time. He takes a subway. Oh, okay. <laughs> he takes a subway in New York, like a normally, like a normie. Like a. Like what, a what was he in New York? What are you doing in New York? Yeah. Oh, he took that picture. Huh? He had that that picture that said said Keanu. Yeah. Or was that another yeah, one? Yeah, on the bus. The bus. <laughs> I mean that's cool. It's it's like you always you always, you always want your rich people to be humble. <laughs> and speed, <laughs> speed. It's a speed reference. Are you referencing the movie Speed? Which Are you guys just it took that? so long. Oh my god! I didn't say it went right over my head. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, come on, guys, come on. 
I was like, no, I'm going to shut up about it. I'm not going to say shit. I'm like, waiting. It's like, like it's an innuendo. I'm like, oh, come on. Dwayne, Dwayne is part of, it's part of the cyberpunk. Damn shame. And he wasn't a bus stop. But he wasn't waiting for Steve. Oh. What's the top of the That killer's name, you're welcome. <laughs> you see what? I can't. 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 <laughs> it's um, important. Otherwise, I don't oh. get speed references. Um, yeah, Keanu's the best. Uh, he didn't save Cyberpunk apparently, and uh, I won't be getting it now. <laughs> Same here. Six out of ten. I want to go play Skyrim now. Actually, more than anything. <laughs> I'm going to play Skyrim. Right, yeah, bye. I want to go play. We're gonna we're gonna stream Skyrim. So, um. For everybody who's like wondering what where we've been, what we've been up to, we took a couple week break to 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 enjoy the holidays, um, to catch up with everything in our lives and all the people in our lives outside of, of Twitch. And now we're back. Now we're back and, and we're we have one week. Next week is gonna be when we're officially back streaming five days a week again. Um we're just kinda like finalizing what's going to be on schedule because we're going to do things a little differently. Uh, not too different, just a little different. But I'm excited. I only have, hmm? I only have 18 hours in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> on this account, on this purchase. On this one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we're, we're definitely looking forward to, to, to bringing some new and cooler content. We're going to be on social media. And we're going to be fucking social we're media. Be social media. Sexy people are going to be influencers. Yeah, we're going to dance on TikTok. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> TikTok. Pretty ready to do his TikTok, his, his finger movements and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, you know, and I would say that there's legitimately groups of youngins that are growing up right now thinking like this is how you're supposed to dance <laughs> like oh, this don't is... tell me that's bad yeah like you're gonna be in the club all I doing their practice. tiktok and shit <laughs> like is it like the renegade in the club i'm like oh fucking oh <laughs> it's gonna be great cringe. that's cringe right is it but isn't there like a group of the youth that's realizing a lot of this shit is cringe as fuck isn't there? Isn't it Gen uh, Z? Aren't Gen? Isn't Gen Z gonna save us? I don't know. No. Maybe. Because <laughs> we're know. we're I, I, we're making our space. kids do TikTok. That's the problem. <laughs> huh? I said we're making our kids do TikTok. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean we're making our kids do TikTok? TikTok. That's that. That's the thing that be, that's happening out there. Is that all right? I'm gonna put this on TikTok for everyone else to enjoy. <laughs> it's. It's it's the there's no more private time. <laughs> it's all let me yeah. put this on, 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 on social media. Yep. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna cry because I made a, a fantastic painting of and of you and your family. Here you go. I'm gonna film this. And you're gonna cry, and then I'm gonna get some some nice internet points. Ha ha. Internet points. I like that. Everybody wants those internet points, man. God. Internet then, points then, lead to money. That's what, that's what we want. True, true. Mm -hmm. We need internet points. Give me some internet points. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going for those internet points this year. Getting belligerent is going to have so many internet points. My body's ready. Let's make Percy cry. That's what I'm going to do this year. Let's make Percy cry. Let <laughs> me be cry. On yeah, camera. Let me record it. <laughs> yeah. That would be just yeah, me and my... Cry! Cry! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? I pinch your nipples. Hmm. Me was a good time. time. <laughs> <laughs> when pinching nipples goes wrong, <laughs> um, clickbait. Clickbait. <laughs> yeah, and we got to do our special stream so we can get back. We do too. Specials. I was thinking we should just like do them and and do modifications for free at least for like a couple of them just to catch up. Sure. Okay. We have to go into a lot of them, and then I think we have to reorganize and see what's out there. Okay. Uh, or you can boycott, boycott social media and be free. 
Hmm. Hmm. But how will, um, we, how will I get my internet points? I know. <laughs> oh, I can't redeem my internet points. <laughs> I can't. I can't go, yeah, go to the turkey <laughs> cheese counter and redeem my internet points. Um, I, I've actually seen a lot of people that have had success on Twitch struggle, like, trying to figure out making content. And they're, like, legitimately putting a lot of effort into making content on... Mm -hmm. So, like, they became big on Twitch. And, like, Twitch means you have clips on high on YouTube, right? So you're, like, this big personality. You have a lot of stuff to do. And then you're, like, oh, shit, I got to make stuff on Instagram. And then you go, oh, shit, I also have to make stuff on TikTok. But the problem is, is that like the more you go down that road, the less like the stuff you're known for becomes relevant. So now you have to do TikTok. You have to like do yeah. what that is, and you're no longer doing what it is that got you famous. And yeah. it honestly, to me, it always looks super awkward. Like to me, it always looks forced. Like it's good content in the sense that like they're succeeding at doing TikTok, but it's like, but that's not. That's not like why I liked you no, in the first place. That's what they're place. good at. And they're just trying oh. to get other people to come and watch the stuff they want to do. Yeah. So are they not trickling down their the content they're making to the other platforms? Or they're changing the way they're making their new content now? They're, no, they're they're they're, they're, just, they're going to the to the platform. Platforms. Yeah, just for the new platforms. Like they're doing two different things. Yeah. And it's because you can't just repost that shit on TikTok. Nobody gives a shit. You know, you got to do you gotta do the thing where you're like, I'm talking to this person. And the camera changes. And you have different clothes on. And now I'm this character. <laughs> and, you this one, and you do a joke. And then, like, it's like you have to do that, you know, over and over. I just like pointing over. at things. I like pointing at words. Do it, <laughs> words. I fucking hate those. I fucking... <laughs> I fucking... Those are the those... words ones is the laziest fucking bullshit ass <laughs> TikTok trend. Like you're just like shimmying a little bit and pointing. I fuck God. Why? Why is why are we okay with this? Why are we okay? <laughs> Because Why for some we, reason, we, one of those got for 10 million views, and everyone said, I'm going to do that, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone thinks they God, can do dude. everything. This shit shouldn't be this easy. Right? That's the problem. <laughs> Should. Am I arguing for a meritocracy? Am I uh, saying that only the people with talent should have success? Um, no, yeah, people dude. with no talent should have success, but they should also understand why they have that success. <laughs> and that's the, that's the problem I think people have is that they don't understand why they're famous. <laughs> I mean, and then and then and, and, and I'm gonna fucking say this. I don't uh, fuck it. I'm saying it. You know mm -hmm. what it comes down to is for a lot of people is how attractive you look too. I mean, if you could look cute and just point at shit. It's gonna work. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> us. I'm so you know. I I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like ironically, yeah. Ironically, we can make it work because it's fucking hilarious. Wasn't I trying to make my mouth into a triangle before we got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a TikTok. That's a TikTok success. TikTok. Talent, talent that deserves attention. It's called the make your face into a triangle challenge. Challenge. Not very catchy. <laughs> <laughs> Not very catchy. Says, you're lucky you're, you're lucky you're cute slug. Uh, yeah, because I don't have a triangle face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like think about it. It's imagine it. I'm not uh... <laughs> um yeah, I don't know. Let's see what do you guys want to talk about next. What's going on in the, the Twitch of the, the, the universe of, of of the new world of 2021 that we have entered. So, I talked about this a little bit uh, yesterday when Slunk was stramming, but I'm, I'm making a list and checking it twice. Uh, I'm, I'm writing down all the stuff I'm doing, I'm watching like from movies, games, TV streams, and I'm gonna list that all out, the date I watched the title, rating, and a nice little quick comment. So I started on the first, and I went through... 
the AMC marathon of of Rocky. Woo! They had, <laughs> they had so much, so many montages. Oh, so many Adrian, so many <laughs> Yogi. <laughs> oh my God, what a day! What a day of montage. It was so oh, good. Great marathon. What's your favorite Rocky montage? Uh, I gotta go with four. I like Rocky Four, where the, he's he's training out on top of the snow mountain, fucking with a log, and then <laughs> and then and then he gets so fast that he loses the the Russians that are supposed to be following him, and they crash and shit. And then they get out of the car, <laughs> they, they try crash. to chase them, and they fall. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? What are we watching? Guy, he's running in snow. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so oh, who are these guys? They're, they're, how they never run, really explain. How can he run in the snow so fast? <laughs> Holy shit. How did you do this? We live in this and we can't handle this. Because <laughs> he's American. That's it's, right. And, uh, and, then it, and, and then montage, there's a there's a quick scene of them stabbing Drago with a fucking big ass needle. Like, yeah. like God, I ran into this show. <laughs> like there was like no precision on like <laughs> is that where the vein is? Is, is it going right in the muscle? There. Fuck it. No. <laughs> had oh, the great man. speech. Uh, Adrian comes out of nowhere. <laughs> could change. <laughs> Everybody could change. <laughs> then all the Russians stand up. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Are we all Americans now? We never knew the Americans had such passion. Yeah. And, the and then that one the Russian, side. the one Russian holds out. There's one Russian guy who holds out. He's like he sees everyone else, but he just starts the the slow. <laughs> he starts just getting up very slowly. The guys in there, he's just like he looks mad, and he's like, "Guys, right? Right? <laughs> I guess communism right. is. I can't change. He can change. I can't change. I can't change. <laughs> you know what?" Fuck these bombs. Bring back the bombs. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. Rocky Four has the best montage. <laughs> and then what else is on your list? Uh, for movies, that's pretty much it. I'd, I did throw in Soul in there because that was, that was on Christmas. So, like, I didn't really talk about it. just want to make sure that wasn't back in my head. For I games, like Soul, uh, Soul was really good. I still haven't watched it. Watch I it. give it a... I give it a solid uh, eight out of ten. Gracie. Ooh, that's, really... that's high on the Edgar scale. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pretty high on the Edgar scale. Mm-hmm. I wanted, I wanted your review of Wonder Woman, but I don't know if everybody's seen it here. Nope, I probably won't watch it though. So, view <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> Just cause, uh, yeah. What a, what a movie. What a movie. Oh, the Edgar scale. Oh, fanboy needs uh, explanation. We need to have like a graphic oh. about the Edgar scale <laughs> down do below. We should make a YouTube, a YouTube video explaining the Edgar scale. <laughs> explain the Edgar oh. scale? Well, here you go. With graphics and stuff. But, go. Yeah. The, the Edgar scale starts off in between five and six. You, everyone just, you automatically start there. Doesn't matter what it is. We're starting there. Depending, uh, along the way, we're going up and down, depending how good your story is, how bad your story is, how good the music is, how... You, whatever it's trying to be, it's it, whatever it's trying to be, it accomplishes it. So if it's trying to be a good horror movie, that it accomplishes being a good horror movie. If it mm-hmm. if it becomes a fucking a joke of a movie and it's trying to be like super scary, that's 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 bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it, everything has to come into account. Make sure everything makes sense. If there's movies surrounding it, make sure it's good that around the movie. If there's the bad acting, if there's good acting, it it's all very. I I care. <laughs> I feel like I care. <laughs> Cuz I understand when things are garbage and I I eat the garbage, you know. I, I, I'll, but I'll tell you it was good I garbage. I knew what I was eating. I knew what yeah. I was yeah. getting into. It was garbage yeah. when it was coming out. I knew it was garbage. I yeah. ordered the garbage on the menu. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so when I got garbage, like... I was satisfied. You're like but mm, but that's garbage. I don't want that. <laughs> but there's times the menu looks really good and then I get garbage and I'm like uh, you. This is not what I was. Uh, what, uh, 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 I promised. <laughs> or like you wanted garbage, but it was trying to be a good movie, and you're like, no. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I want right now. <laughs> Give me my garbage bag. You say garbage. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of a movie like that now. I'm trying to think of one. Like I'm looking for garbage. I <laughs> get a good movie. <laughs> hmm. 
probably hot rod somewhere somewhere around those lines <laughs> like, okay. I, I know i like andy sandberg but he's too much sometimes so i'm like oh this is gonna be bad and he's like oh he turned it around on me it's actually sort of decent because mm-hmm. i like the party <laughs> Uh, right, so uh, it, maybe, I, maybe I, that'll be a segment in the future. I, I feel like I just judge it really harshly, as in, like, anything that's six and above, I, w- I would usually recommend it. Six is, like, like, uh, I, like, I like it personally, but I know it's not for everyone. <laughs> so, four and or five and under is, like, I watched it, and <laughs> it was there, and... And then four and back and on down is just it just it's, it's gets worse and worse. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to erase as much as I can from it. And but I think uh, fanboy is like, referencing uh, Waterboy. She showed me her boobies, and I like them too. <laughs> God, I'm gonna go through an Adam Sandler like run through of Have you his movies. You saw uh, what's the last one he did. Like hidden gems, hidden gems. gems. I have not seen that. What? It's a really good one. That, that might be polarizing. my favorite. That, was that might polarizing. be my second favorite. Second favorite Adam Sandler San- San- movie. What's your first? Second or third? Second or third? <sighs> Maybe Waterboy. No, no, Maybe, no, Billy oh, Madison? no, no, no. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Happy Gilmore is really good. I'm not a big Billy Madison guy. It's no. good, but, but, but I do feel Happy Gilmore above that. Like Happy Gilmore's yeah. up there. Yeah, Happy Gilmore. There's a point yeah, where where Adam Sandler becomes a little bit too annoying. It's like he he likes to step on that line of like oh oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, but, Happy Gilmore was so successful too because it had so many good characters. Yeah. Like, all the side characters, all the, the villain, everyone had Shooter McGavin. Shooter McGavin. Shooter. Yeah. <laughs> Benzo's getting frustrated. He's still yeah, he's like, he still shoot. does it, but angrily. <laughs> oh. Shooter, damn it. <laughs> and then it goes, I, I like the, the, the point where he goes past ridiculous, like everything falls down. He's like, I got this. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could see the code. I see the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> what came together it's all about miniature golf so if you play miniature golf a lot you'll be good at regular golf eventually geometry that's all it is yeah. <laughs> that's all it is that's all it is <laughs> um God. yeah so Uncut Gems was was very polarizing uh in the group yeah, I mean, people liked it or people hated it. I mean, I was surprised at how many people just were like, that movie was awful. And I was yeah. like, man, like, I liked it so much that I want to argue with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and maybe the movie made you feel bad. And that's kind of the point. Like it was kind of supposed to stress you out and it was kind of supposed to make you feel really gross and bad. And it did a really good job at what it was supposed to, I guess, I think what it was designed to do, even the music, that intro and the outro and just like, it was just so tense. Like it's definitely, like I said to people who I suggested go watch it, like go in knowing that you're going to be stressed out. Yeah. Uh, don't don't think it's not gonna affect you emotionally or even physically. Like it's gonna make it's gonna stress you out. It's a stressful fucking movie. It's shot in a really stressful way. It's the story, the music, the way he talks, everything, the way it moves. It's just like God, it's just constant, I, I, just constant I, tense moments over and over. Why yeah. is he in all these situations? Why is he living this life? Ah, it was the, why is that he was so the problem human? for me. Just, Fuck you, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that was the problem with me it was like everything was just too frantic and like the story wasn't like being explained like as it goes along it was just like all right you pick up as uh, as you go it's like things are falling you need to pick these things up as we're going along the story as, as we're going through right now <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You, caught him, you caught him at his worst yeah. and like at that point the way the going through that story is like i never wanted him to succeed <laughs> no <laughs> like he's no you were never like, on his side at all not really, because he was just too too much of a frustrating character. He was like, mm. 
there was the redeeming qualities wasn't there for me like to me to, for to, for me to root for him like he's getting screwed over a lot but he also does a lot of screwing over <laughs> yeah. yeah well that was the other tension part was that it was like you I know feel what he was like... trying to do but it was always some stupid schemey shit and that was that was part of it i don't know I he was I addicted to the to the thrill of like the 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 small chance of winning and outsmarting everybody. Like he yeah. just had to always outsmart people, even when it didn't work for him. This is how I the, win. The great, only, yeah, great, the meme. Only, great meme. Oh, yeah. The only scene I did like is is him with Kevin Garnett in that in that scene. It was like when him explaining like this is what I'm doing. This is the only thing I'm trying to do. I'm just I'm just like you. I'm just trying to push forward. I'm trying to win, and I'm trying that's the win. only th- only time that I was like. This is dope. I forgot Adam Sandler's really good. <laughs> Just like you. This is my game. This is my court. This is my... Uh, yeah, it's good. You should watch it, Percy. It's a more movie. Okay. Yeah. Are you streaming nice. on anything? Yeah, I think it's on... Uh, I did see it. It was on something. I got my new Android TV, and I'm like, this is our best. <laughs> Everything's on here. Um... The Love weekend that. shows up. The weekend's in it. You don't need another reason other than that, right? And he plays himself. It's, yeah. it's great. <laughs> kind of an asshole, but it's great. Yeah. yeah I don't think he was too far like off of the character he played, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, he probably wasn't too far off of the character he played. No. Yeah, it's like, I've always I liked his music, but I, w- I was never sure I liked him. And then after I told him, I was like, yeah, I don't like him. I don't like the dude. Yeah. Don't don't like him. Don't like him. Not a fan. Who's a (laughs) Pokemon? That was was Prime Weekend. I think he's just kind of a nerd. But But, but that was like, that was was Prime Weekend before he like blew up in in that Mm -hmm. timeline. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That was come up weekend. Yeah. Doing grunge shows so, in New York. Just some fucking back, back just in club. Shit. Banging whatever comes along the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you work here? All right, you. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's in my writer. Come on. <laughs> Go on in ten. So we got so we got 30. You got five. So we got, we got 30. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Always um, late. Always late. Always late. late. So let's get a little political. Do we have a a result or a prediction yet from the Senate runoff in Georgia? Is that the needle? The the needle move. Where's the needle doing? Show me the needle. Uh, So right right now, for those that don't don't know Mm -hmm. and aren't paying attention, there's a Senate runoff in Georgia, which is a special rule that they have, where something about like if both candidates don't get over fifty percent of the vote they have to have like this special election to decide who wins uh it's a, uh i don't know how many states do that but not all of them do and so they're having a runoff race between uh two senator choices um and it's kind of an important one and all the political streamers are covering it right now if you're not here you might be watching there mm-hmm. and edgar what's the needle say <laughs> I'm trying to find the one that that Hassan uses. I think it's political, right? Um, political. damn it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's good, 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 in- entertaining stuff. But this is going to determine the control of the Senate, and probably a lot define a lot of the next at least two years, possibly four years, of. Whether or not you get two thousand dollars, hey, because that's what that's what Biden said. Biden said it. He said if you vote the Democrats <laughs> in, you get two thousand dollars tomorrow. Damn, he was like, he said that. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> said, much. Fucking, you're gonna wake up with two thousand dollars in your motherfucking bank account tomorrow if the Democrats win. So how does that make you feel, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with your two thousand dollars as a Democrat to win? Wait for my next two thousand dollar check. <laughs> <laughs> Put it. God. My I'll, buy, I'll means... buy Tesla stock and turn it into five thousand dollars. There you go. Mm. 
<laughs> my, what, one of my favorite memes from all of this coming out is that uh, <clears throat> um, it's a good thing that uh, a six hundred dollar check is coming in because I almost wasted that twelve hundred dollar st- stimulus. <laughs> <laughs> When was that twelve hundred dollar one? God, like a year ago. <laughs> no, it wasn't a year ago, but <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> it. Feels like it. When was the last stimulus, Google? Google, how do we get stimulus? Stimulate me, Google. Google. Can send me a stimulus check. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. So it's be, it should be interesting. No, no, no needle results. Oh, I gave up and started looking for the, oh. like, the stimulus check. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta send me out one thing at a time, Slug. Okay, <laughs> well, Slug. So on political, it says, uh, Purdue and Ossoff, they're both at fifty percent, <laughs> with Purdue slightly up two million one hundred eighty nine thousand five hundred sixty two votes to Ossoff's two million one hundred eighty eight. 1,354. So about a thousand vote difference. So in favor of Asa? No, favor of uh Purdue. But on the other side, Warnick's winning by 50.4% compared to 49.6%, but that's another really close one. Yeah. I so, you know, I I'm curious as to like what the what's gonna happen like protest wise afterwards, you know what I mean? Like I don't know. Um, there are like the 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 gun toting freedom fighters are already there, uh. So they're just like, well, let's just book another weekend here. Oh God! <laughs> so, this is run around. Put our masks on. Was was that March? That was not March. It was it? not March. No. In March 2020, Congress included stimulus checks as part of the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economy Security Act, CARES Act. This two trillion aid package will help those impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. Maybe that's when it got mm. voted on, but it didn't get Maybe. like processed until later. It's been when... like probably yeah. April, maybe May. But uh Look at your bank account. Find out where <laughs> it's interesting. That's interesting. Um do you, do you do you guys would you guys ever become would you guys ever do political streaming? No. Uh, I'm already an angry person. I don't get angrier. Maybe. <laughs> Depends. I don't know. I don't know how good I'd be at it. I'll to... I'll be the, the the question guy under. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably be the like, guy. Wait, wait. You have to educate me and tell me stuff, and then I'll have an opinion. Yeah, <laughs> bring it down to me. Bring it, bring it down, we'll, we'll like, like, a, like to a four-year-old. Explain to me how this affects me. Yeah, like we have four apples. If five of those apples get <laughs> put into Congress, <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about someone ate one of the apples? Wait, where are we getting these <laughs> apples from? Wait <laughs> up! What if my apple has a worm in it? <laughs> <laughs> Does that change anything? Nope. Are they, are they the same type of apple? Or are they <laughs> Granny Smith? Yeah, man. He's Granny Smith with these, these crab apples. Like what are we looking at? I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm an apple denier. <laughs> <laughs> Apples never happened. Do you believe in apple anarchy? <laughs> no I'm anti apple. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, that's why I can't be a political <laughs> streamer. <laughs> oh man, did you did you guys see the videos of the people in um, anti maskers in the mall? They were in, walking around in Culver City, trouble. Culver City, Co- out, and Culver Rouse. City, causing trouble. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of trouble. Yeah, just walking around protesting and making With, a ruckus, uh, having yep. no masks, getting in people's faces. Mm-hmm. Oh, being being disgusting. Yeah. If there was no pandemic. Yeah, Pretty even much. if there was no yeah. pandemic, they're being yeah. gross. Ah, yeah, they're being just pieces of shit. Yeah. 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 So here's here's my question: Do you guys think those people are literally just hoping somebody throws a punch? No. Is that why they, they do it? I don't think they actually want. No, some people smoke. do. Some of them do. Oh, there there's, are of some. course, there's a guy. There's people amongst them. 
Yeah. So they're, they're probably protecting the, the ones that are the real talkers. Yeah, but the other ones, I feel it's more like they know you won't do anything, so that's why they're, they're trying to push it. They I think the more won't. talkative they are, they're probably, the less likely they'll, they'll actually yeah. put up. Start, you see? You see? They don't even do anything. They don't even fight us. Why, what are you even fighting for? You won't even fight me. You want to you want to be in a debate and you want to have a conversation. Sometimes. And they just okay. say things louder than you <laughs> to try to prove yeah. a point. Yep. Sometimes I pray when I go to Target that some event like that will happen and somebody will get crazy on me and I'll have a reason to be angry, Dwayne. Which doesn't happen ever. Never you're like, <laughs> you're like, never you're like, please, just, you're like, please swing first, just please swing <laughs> first. God is back there, like, please don't let these motherfuckers get crazy right now. Let me, like, I have to, how, I have to punch him out. Give me a reason to yank that's somebody how, out of the store. <laughs> I mean, that's how protests are, right? It's like, I wish, uh, I wish, I wish you would, I wish you would. That's what it I is. I wish you would. would. I wish you motherfucker would. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I've not met any anti, like, there's one thing to be against masks for whatever reason, stupid, be it stupid or, you know, personal, but to be so outwardly uh, verbal about it and and blatant and mean about it and angry about it is, is I think that's where the issue is. When, one of the ter- yeah. terrible things that we were said in the video um there's a, a lady on there who's saying, my grandpa died of COVID. And one of the guys from the protesting or going into the mall says, uh, people die every day. Your grandpa's not special. I was like, whoa, dude. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Stupid. He's just dumb. Some of these people are dumb. Yeah. Dumb. It's like, whoa, oh, oh, oh. So I kill you. Nobody cares. Like, you're not special. Like... <laughs> Life doesn't matter. All oh, is that is that murder? Oh, you're trying. To, God, this guy's this guy's attacking me. He said he's gonna murder me, and that that and that's all it turns into. Yeah, it's fucking so stupid. Yeah, I mean, we all grew up with me, kids like was... these in our schools. We all had a kid like that who was just like a piece I'm of shit. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Yeah. No, touching, you I'm didn't not, get I'm me. You, you didn't get me. I'm not touching you. This motherfucker's leaning up on you with his fucking. <laughs> With his chest, like, no, I'm not touching you. Like, yeah. his, his hands are back here. And then, yeah, I'm not it's that. weird. It's definitely not an adult conversation people are having. I mean, yeah. I think when it comes down to people I know and friends that I have that are like, listen, if you want to live the rest of your life, social distancing and wearing a muzzle you know the rest of us want to go back to work and work hard and earn our money instead of getting checks at home and i'm like kind of argument is that (laughs) that's literally what i've been told and i'm like all right what you're saying is i don't want certain lazy people to not get any money because they're being lazy it's they're being lazy i won't say anything more descriptive than that or the color of their skin they're being lazy whoa whoa (laughs) yeah and that's what it comes down to is people are just like i this is a a virtue signaling thing of like i work hard and and everybody else who's afraid to live is also afraid to work because they want communism they just want free stuff they've been convinced that um that anybody who cares about other people and are willing to sacrifice a bit of their own comfort to help others mm. uh, uh, is somehow buying into a system where it's going to encourage everyone to just sit around and put their hands out, you know? Like, yeah. we don't live in a fucking community or something like that, right? <laughs> like, like, people are, some people are just so detached and they don't realize it. It's fucking nuts, like, dude. It's it, like it, my, it my neighbor's I mean, starving, but I'm I'm it. fine. There there are people that grew up with fucking they're on their cell phones and they live in a neighborhood they hate. So yep. like their entire w- world perspective is like I can get out of here. I can get out of here. I can get out of the ghetto, mm-hmm. and I could go fucking travel the world like this fucking Instagram hoe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so fuck all these other people because they're all lazy ghetto people and i'm not one of them hmm. and they're trying to make a statement about i'm not one of them i'm not one of these lazy people i'm gonna live the instagram lifestyle because i earned it and worked hard and anything that keeps me from having that and why the reason i don't have that right now is somebody else's fault 
not my own. Mm-hmm. You know? And so that becomes problematic when you discuss, well, how are we going to solve issues at large? Because you're not interested in that, <laughs> right? You're just interested in your own benefit, your own life, yeah. and your own your own growth or whatever. And that's good. That's good. It's good to focus on yourself because you don't want to be a burden on the system. You want to put in uh, what you can as much as you can. But this attitude that um, that you know everybody that you look up to and sort of in, draw this inspiration that you can have certain things comes from your level playing field is ridiculous. And I think a lot of people are making a lot of money, getting a lot of influence from uh, taking this perspective of like work hard and 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 uh, uh, like this rugged individualism, you know, like that uh, I'm going to earn it and, and, and hustle and and praise God and, and everything's going to work out. Just like, you know, Instagram quote lifestyle, like, you know, the quote blocks that they post um, and think sure, positively. Yeah. Um, and then so I think they're post this. <laughs> never, ever, they never, and then and, and sometimes they'll go, well, I'll go help the poor. I'll go donate some money, but they're like fucking selfie that shit. Right. Like it's never altruistic. It's never truly altruistic. It's always self-serving. And so when people become successful because of their self-serving attitude, it will always be driven by that. And it's mm-hmm. never altruistic. And so this idea that anybody who has altruistic ideals and makes a lot of money, they vilify. That's fucking weird to me. Like there are people out there who are who who support the idea of donating, of creating big funds, and they have a lot of money. It's like, oh, they're rich and they're giving away their money to help cure diseases. Well, what's the real motivation? It can't. Yeah. It can't be altruistic. I'm altruistic. I have that heart. I have right. it. Why aren't they giving away more? Yeah, that, that guy. That no chance. No. No way. No chance. Like no, you know, I do. No. No, I don't know him, but I know he's not that. <laughs> yeah, dude. So oh, he's hope. a Democrat. No, 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 no. Ulterior motive. Evil communist. Evil communist. Trying to control us. He's a lizard. It's person. nuts, dude. People Evil socialist. Are, now it's socialist. People are off their <laughs> fucking rocker, homie. Like they're just fucking. It's not real, and I and I feel like this. It's like a brain virus that's gone around, and people have caught it. Yeah. People have caught it, man, and uh, that's why I think I need to start doing political Twitch. <laughs> 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 that is his TED talk. So he's gonna be here just, just ranting and going off and on everyone, and I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and, and the thing is, like, like I, like I, like I said, the numbers are funny. The numbers are funny because it's easy to say, like, well, one percent of per- people die that get it, you know. And you can always say, like, there's a certain amount of people that have died that have gotten it, and you can say it's one percent. Um, I don't even know if that's like still true, but if it is, that just means that a certain amount of people, the absolute number of those dead people, is an X amount, and you never take into consideration it hasn't hit everybody. So that number is just going to keep growing and growing and growing. And let's say it jumped to two percent. Let's just say it's two percent. Okay, so that 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 of the hundred now. That's double the amount of dead people. <laughs> that's double the amount of dead bodies. Three percent, three times four percent. Like this is a number that could easily balloon, and all because we didn't have enough staff, we didn't have enough medicine, we didn't have enough yeah. like things because we decided to just let it run, let it rip, you know. Yeah. And and people will quote like, "Well, what about this country that let it rip? They're doing great." No, actually, they took it back. They said this was an awful idea, and they regret it. And these are countries that are smaller than ours. They don't have big populations, condensed areas like we do, that are very susceptible to this. Should every place in the United States have the exact same rules? Absolutely not. That's fucking ridiculous. If you're in the middle of, the middle of fucking nowhere, you don't have that anyway. And and there's like 20 <laughs> people there. Like, like yeah, like you shouldn't be fucking closing down your restaurant. Like, yeah, like you you see. Yeah. You know, it's it's all within like people don't think logically; they think in absolutes. You know, and so so like you want to live in your yeah. It's just like you're you're basically like oh you want to live in a mask for the rest of your life. It's like no dummy, nobody's no, fucking man. saying that. Not a single goddamn person is saying that, dickhead. It's just and the problem is is just these are the arguments that they like to make. These are the people like you're saying they're just they just want to say this shit. 
Yeah. You know, they just they just want to say this shit. They just want to like complain, and literally, it's just Karens. It's just fucking. It's a, America is full of Karens, man. <laughs> it sucks, dude. But everywhere yeah. they, they spread present than fucking COVID. I didn't even realize <laughs> <laughs> they are outpacing. My favorite COVID, is man. that they ignore the obvious, you know, stuff. Like out here, we have major issue going on with the hospitals right now that it's a growing issue where there's, there's no space none i hear i live what a couple miles from a, a major hospital nothing but sirens all day and night i kid you not I kid you not all day and night it's a siren every i don't know 20 minutes 30 minutes yeah and then i know they're just driving up and down the street because they can't go anywhere yeah the, the yeah. fucked up one i saw was the uh, don't bring in patients as like it's too late for them if the if they're in the ambulance already. I'm like, how, how can they even, how can they even like be saying that like right now? Like, that's ridiculous. Like it's gone to that point that uh, these yeah. hospitals are people overfilled. Like, there's no there's nothing. There's and nothing people like, completely ignore that this is happening in your fucking backyard. You can walk long enough and you can see it happen. Like. It's like... <laughs> now, now there is a response to this that's been going around. They say that at this time of year. Hospital beds are always an issue. They're always running low. They've always not all of, not low, all yeah. of them. A, a lot of them. A lot of them. This is always like a pandemic thing. It's like flu season. Things happen. They've yeah. never. But when you look at the headlines and you look at the stories, they've never fucking ran out. Yeah. They've right. never ran out where they were like, you know what? Just let them die. Yeah. We can't. That's it. We're full. They've never, never ran heard out. ICU and, being full at max capacity in, t- in the entire county like i've never heard that in my entire life ever yeah and using gift shops using yeah like hallways converting things uh and so yeah and they'll see that and be like yeah it's no big deal <laughs> it's like yeah at what point it's were you weird, arguing dude. With you're arguing it's with, weird with, you're arguing with crazy people that's what you're doing. And the thing is, the thing is, this is with us at this level of shutdown. <laughs> like, yeah. I get it. We're not totally shut down. There's still people that are like spreading it all the time. Um, it's not 100. percent We're not like like China. We're not like New Zealand. We're not like these countries that took it very seriously, right? Yeah. Um, that they were like running around and like beating people who were walking around with that mask. Which they should have. <laughs> Should have done. Um, hey, hey, give it, give it enough time. Let's start beating people's heads in. And and so they're out there having raves. They're out there having celebrations. Yeah. They're out there COVID free, uh, or at least they're at COVID manageable level. And yeah. they have a psyche of like, well, we know how to treat this if it happens again, you know. And in this country, we've 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 done everything in in denying it, and 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 it's like slowly changed. First like, it was you fake. Really, like, think. Remember when it was fake? <laughs> Remember that shit? The first, oh, it's fake. It'll like, be oh, gone. Don't be scared of this. It's nothing. It's not real. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. Oh, that's the that was the word. Yeah, fucking hoax. Yeah. <sighs> and then the and, goalposts, the goalposts just keep getting moved. Oh, those goalposts you know, are fucking no... moved so far down the fucking line. It's. I've already said it. Like it's like if you're, you, they need to start sharing photos. They need to start sharing people coughing and dying. They need to start sharing like people like rolling over and and passing out. Like they need to share these videos because these people don't react. It's like it's like it's like my story. It's like uh, uh, the one time I was in a jury in a case that lasted like three four weeks. It was a long one, and and uh, they were giving their evidence. They were they're you know. The lawyers were talking about this and that and, and criminal and he shouldn't have had these guns and they found these guns at his house and and um all these things, right? <clears throat> and so after deliberating for a while, um we all decided that the guy was guilty. Like, yeah, they were like, This was this, this dude's guilty. <laughs> like, you know, he they were his guns, they were at his house, he's a gangster, like yeah, bro, they're your fucking guns. I'll try to say they're somebody. Yeah, Slunk, Slunk, Slunk was saying he has that look to him. <laughs> <laughs> Except for one lady. Except for one lady. One lady. One lady was just like, well, no, I don't believe it. Um, I need to see, like, video evidence. Like, I I, I need to see. I, I There's no pictures. Like, there's no proof. 
that this was there. There's no photograph. There's no videotapes. Like, we don't know. The cops could have put it there. Like, like that's the whole point of you as a jury <clears throat> discussing this. And everyone seems to agree. <laughs> Beyond a reasonable doubt. We can yeah. always create, you can always create a fantasy situation where your argument stands true. You always can. Always can. Yeah. But you have to deal with the reality of things. You have to deal with the the things that are in front of you and make the best decision possible. You can't have your ideals and then constantly uh, uh, go to the little percentage of thing that is correct and then just go all in on that because it's not 100% true or 100% not true. You know, like, Cause, and because and, then you get the video evidence, and they're like, "Yeah, but what if someone made that? So what if someone photoshopped that and made that up? Like, you're never happy. You're never fucking happy." <laughs> yeah. And so then the case got dismissed because we were a hung jury. Wow. Just, uh, wow. Yeah. So um, it only takes one person. But only yeah. yeah, in some cases, I guess. There was uh, eleven angry men in there. <laughs> It was crazy, dude. It was um, the first time I felt so much frustration <laughs> towards like another <laughs> human, uh, and everybody else did too. Like everybody else was on the same boat in the that's, sense of like, what the fuck, dude? That's crazy. She didn't cave. The eleven other people, and it, it felt like it was a bit of a defiance for them too, huh? Like they were proud of themselves for for holding it up people, like this. People will only dig in harder too. The more wrong they get, uh, the harder they dig in, and this is actually. Um, kind of wish I could bring up some of this like evidence, but there's. Um, I'll make it up. Don't worry. You know, like you know, <laughs> you know, like uh, 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 people that make prophecies and and they're like, on this day, like something's oh, gonna God. happen, right? A prop, the, prophet, like the Mayan twenty twenty twelve was it or? Yeah, two thousand twelve. <laughs> um, historically, when people have been wrong, they've only dug in harder. It's. Yeah. It's people that believe in in things like that don't take the scientific approach of like, oh, this is wrong. Let me find another answer. It's like, no, this has to be right. I'm going to change things so oh, I can continue down this path. Yeah. yeah. And they are and not everything else around it so that this, this one thing. <laughs> so this becomes true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's crazy people, people, man. You find crazy the needles people. yet, Edgar? No, I was in charge of finding the the numbers, the, the, the <laughs> evidence, <laughs> evidence. Yeah, I was looking for evidence. I don't know what his case yeah. was. <laughs> I mean, I I just I just I'm just I just want this shit to. I hey, mean, like I little... I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm crazy get stuff like that. <laughs> My favorite meme. My favorite meme is definitely the uh, the the. Can we just put the vaccine in in a fucking? Oh, in a in a, in the oil essential oils. Essential oils. They call <laughs> it a moon chain or some shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. Like I, I hate this shit. I hate quarantine, man. Quarantine has only made my life harder, not easier. You know. I mean, there's there some aspects of it that have been badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but I mean, but I just, this is most of it sucks. I want to go back and everything. Most I, I just hate that not everyone's playing by the same rules. <laughs> like, everyone's like, all right, we got to hold down. All right, cool. And then that same person said, we got to hold down is out and about going crazy. Places. I'm like, what happened to holding down? What We were, we were good for that one week. <laughs> and then after that, it's been shit. Yeah. Yeah, I've never so seen I... more protest since the lockdown happened. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I think people like protesting. I think I do. I do. I do think people I, I, like it. I think it's an excuse to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. now. People are like, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, at any point in time, we could all just lock down for, for three, four weeks. Uh, maybe the government could like make sure everybody has food, shelter, everybody's taking care Shut of. Shut up, boo! 
Boo! It, that's socialist it, shit. Boo! It, it, that's too man. easy. That's too fucking oh easy. Goodness, you man. lazy fuck. Yeah, people, <laughs> people will get complete. They'll get used to it. Like no, they won't. If you take it away, you can't get used to shit that's not there. <laughs> The then they'll complain. They'll complain that they don't have you complain it. Complain anyway. You complaining right now? <laughs> hey, you always complain. God, where's my two thousand dollars? <laughs> oh man, you know, Daddy you Trump how, isn't you, coming through anymore. <laughs> you saw how fast those Republicans turned into socialists as soon as they saw that two thousand dollars come up. <laughs> oh shit! Like, two thousand? <laughs> Damn. You know how many PlayStations that is that I can't get? Yeah, <laughs> yeah one. <laughs> one. One that I can't get. <laughs> oh, man. Anywho. What time is it? 9.45? Wrap it up. Do anything oh. sleepy? Yeah, man. Yeah, sure you said that. Dwayne, th- Dwayne has to stay up for another three hours pretending to sleep. <laughs> 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 What what's when's the bedtime, Dwayne? Uh I've moved it up to midnight. Latest. Midnight. Latest. Uh, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be a good little boy. And do eleven to twelve now. Yeah, yeah. That's the range I'm aiming what for. What you what, when's your bedtime? Uh depends. Sometimes it's two or one. Other times it's eleven. So you stay up till two in the morning. So I don't sleep much. I don't I get to do that. Damn, bro. But then other times I'm like, I crash, so it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder bro. why. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, Colot- <laughs> like, what are you gonna say? Colot- Colot- with 360 bits. Oh, oh, I, I try to go to bed a little early because I, I like to wake up early and try to work out. Usually I don't. I mean, <laughs> not usually. Sometimes I don't. I'm just like, fuck, it's warm in here. But, uh, you know, you want to get up and be active early. It helps you get through the day easier. So many, so many routines have been started because of the new year. <laughs> <laughs> so many will right. break and end by the end of the month. Yeah. Do you, guys, these last. Do, do you guys want to do a challenge? Should we all get like a, sure. uh, like a get trackers? What? You know, not tra- what? What? <laughs> like a <laughs> fitness trackers. And maybe we could all like Fitbits. see who could. What's is there? Is there? Is there? I don't think I have a Fitbit that fits me. (laughs) You get those custom straps. I don't know. I just made like. Is there? Is there one that we could like? Is it has like fitness points and we could like fight each other for a month? There is. You know what? There's actually like an adventure game that's like a fit thing. I can show you guys. Somebody showed me. And you make your little character and everything. Every act you put your activities that you're gonna do for the day, and it levels up your character. And you do them. You say, I did this. Complete it. And your character levels up, and then you go do take them on. We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do GB gets fit, and we're gonna take before and after photos. How about that? Sure. All right, let's do it. Just letting you know right now, I'm not gonna be shirtless. <laughs> no, it's not gonna be shirtless. It's fine. Just wear your onesie. Yeah, yeah onesie. Shirt. All right, yeah, sounds good. Onesie. On that, we'll end on a one on a positive note. Um. <laughs> Who wants to who wants to outro? I'm on the hunt. Go for it. Someone. Um, You've been watching. Right, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you go, know, you go. Know, yeah, we weren't this the other I don't even did. know it. Yeah. I'm bad at it. I don't even Just know. Just do anything. Just do, it. Just do anything. Out. You've been tuned into the GB podcast slash stream channel. I don't know where everyone's at. I'm your boy Dwayne. We got Percy, Edgar, and Slunk. We stream every Tuesday at 8-ish p.m. (laughs) Uh, We're usually on Monday through Sunday. We will be working on that new schedule, but we stream all the fucking time, people. So come watch. This shit's fun. Uh, Yeah, come hang out with GB boys. Come hang out with us. You can also listen to this podcast on... I don't even know. Stitcher, (laughs) Spotify, (laughs) and YouTube. Right? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Like YouTube. Did I get all yeah. that right? Somebody, please. Close enough. Yes. I, tell you, I, good job. I, I read it. I read it every time, and really I good. still have no idea. Really good. <laughs> I'm trying here. Thank you so much, Dave. Hasta luego. <laughs> all right. Everyone, have a good night. Yeah. Taco Tuesday. Peace. Tuesday.